Hi, Gemini. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 12, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings located below this video. Okay, Gemini. Um, We are coming into Mercury Retro on the 14th through the 3rd. And you guys are probably feeling the energy of that. There is going to be a wild energy that comes in kind of quickly and suddenly. It's a high energy. It's high vibration. And it's very positive, believe it or not. Just a little crazy, but it's very positive. And the past is coming back in full force. So, what we have going on for this week. This is a week about moving forward. This is a week about being surrounded by a lot of people. Okay? Um, love life's ascending to another level that I've got commitments and living together and wedding vows. And, you know, for my singles that are looking for a relationship, you can be presented with an actual relationship. Okay. Uh, clarification on something that you have suspected. Confirmation coming in. New money coming in. New opportunities. Warning as we get out towards the weekend and going into next week. Slow down. Now that's slow down physically and personally around the home front. It's also while you're driving. So, let's jump to it. Gemini, this is your week of October 12th, 2020. I have a feeling the single Geminis are actually starting to get out there, look for love, look to have fun. I think it's a wonderful thing. Starting with the Seven of Wands, that Nine of Cups. Look at there, the Two of Cups. Seven of Wands, this is what I call checking things off your to-do list. If you'll notice that you're completing your uh, projects, Okay, and you're almost completed, but you still got some things to get done. Okay, next to that, the Nine of Cups. Now, Gemini, this is what I call the fat, happy cat. This is all those offers of love, offers of help and assistance are coming in. You're sitting back on solid ground and you're embracing and you're recognizing that retro energy and you're going, you know what? I'm kind of in a good spot. I feel pretty good. Things are going well. Next to that, this is my singles, new relationship, uh, reuniting with someone. This is dating for my couples. This is intensity, going to the next level, perhaps living together, perhaps an engagement. Maybe for Gemini, the lovers, just going back to back up this couple that I'm seeing. What I'm talking about from the beginning, strong in the love life. We have the hair fund. And what the hair fund tells me is what you have spent all this time, all these months, all these many weeks manifesting to draw into you. Okay? It's finally happening. And we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Contentment, happiness, looking over the past. Let me say this, Gemini. It's okay to look back over the past. It's okay to look where you've been. Do not get stuck there. You are a sign that could get stuck there very easily and bring yourself down. Your vibration is too high and there's too much good going on around you to allow that to happen. We got the wheel. The wheel of fortune. Things and chains of events are finally turning to your favor. Oh, Gemini, how perfect is that with that wheel of fortune? You guys have the hermit. Tap into your intuition. Know where you're being led. Trust where you're being led. That lantern, that path, it shows you guys are on the right path. There's that Empress card coming in with positive changes on the home front. This is the Mother card as well. And decisions, guys. You've got decisions to make. Look at that blindfold. Not only do you have decisions to make, these are decisions you've been putting off for too long. So at that nine card spread, we're sitting on five major arcanas. If it describes that energy I'm talking about, the lovers of intensity and the love life, the hierophant of what you've been manifesting comes to you now. The wheel 
a fortune so when things are turning to your favor the hermit reiterating and driving that point him was saying directly gemini you are on the right path and then we have that empress that mother card showing positive changes on the home front gemini you got a beautiful beautiful reading here um energies that may resonate with you that i picked up on are aries and an aquarius may or may not resonate with you guys okay just want to throw that out there and let's take it for that final three the bonus three on the halloween tale what gemini needs to know for the week of october 12th you guys got a really you've got a reading that any sign could be jealous of let me put it to you that way gemini <laughs> driving that point home we got the lovers there it is twice from the beginning of the reading it's all about the love life you guys have the ten of pumpkins i love this this is uh, the Ten of Pentacles. This is the highest financial card in the deck. Money in addition to. This is that new money I was telling you about at the beginning of your video. And you guys have the Eight of Ghosts. Okay. That's the Eight of Cups coming into your reading twice. Now we are really driving points home today. Okay. That's where I'm telling you it's okay to look in the past. Do not get stuck there. You are too on an upward high, upward swing to be stuck in the past. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to take the time to like, share, subscribe. Everything you need that I offer is in the description box below. Join me live on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. You're all invited, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.